Have you ever wondered what happens when a star dies? It's a question that has puzzled astronomers for centuries. The answer is as fascinating as it is mind-boggling. The final act of a dying star can lead to the creation of a black hole, a region of space-time where gravity is so strong not even light can escape its grasp. This enigmatic phenomenon has captivated our curiosity, sparking a relentless pursuit of understanding. But what are black holes, really? How do they form? And what mysteries do they hold? The answer, my friends, lies in the heart of a black hole. Our journey begins in the 18th century, where the concept of dark stars was born. As we delve into the annals of time, we encounter the first inklings of what we now understand as black holes. Born from the minds of philosophers and scientists, the idea of dark stars was first proposed, a concept suggesting the existence of celestial bodies so massive and dense that not even light could escape their gravitational pull. Fast forward a couple of centuries to the early 1900s where we meet one of the greatest minds humanity has ever known, Albert Einstein. His groundbreaking theory of relativity fundamentally changed how we understand the universe. It was Einstein's work that laid the foundation for our modern understanding of black holes, these mysterious light-swallowing phenomena. However, during these times, black holes remained purely theoretical, a product of mathematical equations and scientific speculation. The concept of a region in space where gravity is so immense that nothing, not even light, can escape was both fascinating and terrifying. But it was still just a concept, an idea yet to be proven. From a mere concept, black holes were about to become a very real part of our universe. Fast forward to 1971, a year that would forever change our understanding of the cosmos. This was the year when the scientific community was shaken to its core with the discovery of the first black hole, Cygnus X1. This wasn't just an ordinary discovery, it was a revelation that brought theory to reality, proving the existence of a region in space-time where gravity is so strong that not even light can escape it. But how did we stumble upon this invisible entity, you might wonder? Well, black holes, despite their elusive nature, have a way of making their presence known through their interaction with other matter and electromagnetic radiation. For instance, Cygnus X1 was discovered when scientists noticed a peculiar source of X-rays in the sky. Further investigation revealed these X-rays were being emitted by a star, spiraling into an unseen companion, a black hole. In a way, black holes are like cosmic phantoms, revealing themselves through the effects they impose on their surroundings. They tug at nearby stars, distort light paths, and even cause ripples in the fabric of space-time itself. With the discovery of Cygnus X1, the existence of black holes was no longer a theory, but a reality. A reality that would forever alter our perception of the universe and its mind-bending wonders. So, what exactly is a black hole? Picture a region of space-time where gravity is so intense that nothing, not even light, can escape its grasp. This is the nature of a black hole, a cosmic phenomenon that warps space-time around it. At its boundary, we find the event horizon a point of no return beyond which everything is inexorably drawn into the black hole. It's like a cosmic waterfall where everything from the smallest particle to the largest star is swept away into the depths of the black hole. But what lies within these depths? At the heart of a black hole, we encounter a singularity. This is a point where all our understanding of physics breaks down, where densities become infinite and space-time infinitely curves. It's a realm of mystery and intrigue, a place where our current scientific understanding hits a wall. Yet black holes are not just cosmic vacuum cleaners, they also emit something known as Hawking radiation, a theoretical prediction by physicist Stephen Hawking. This radiation is a result of quantum effects near the event horizon, leading to a slow loss of mass over time, causing the black hole to eventually, well, evaporate. And did you know that supermassive black holes lie at the center of most galaxies? These giants, millions to billions of times the mass of our sun, play a critical role in the formation and evolution of galaxies. Black holes, once thought to be mere theoretical entities, are now known to be some of the most fascinating and powerful phenomena in our universe. This is the nature of black holes. A journey from the edge of the event horizon to the enigmatic singularity, a trip into the unknown. So we've journeyed from the 18th century concept of dark stars to the reality of supermassive black holes. We've explored how these celestial juggernauts, born from the collapse of massive stars, can deform space-time itself, creating a region from which not even light can escape. 
From the event horizon, the boundary of no escape, to the emission of Hawking radiation, black holes are a testament to the mind-bending realities predicted by the theory of general relativity. We've seen how the existence of black holes, first proposed centuries ago, was confirmed in 1971 with the discovery of Cygnus X1, and we've learned that supermassive black holes, lurking in the centers of most galaxies, continue to play a vital role in our understanding of the universe. The research in this field is ongoing. With every passing day we pull back the veil of the cosmos a little bit more, revealing the wonders and mysteries it holds. As we continue to delve deeper into the cosmos, who knows what other mysteries we may uncover. Until then, keep looking up and wondering about the enigma that is our universe.